Okay, now we're going to cover the, the theory behind the waves, traveling waves. We're going to learn about what happens when a wave reflects off a medium, depending on if that other medium is harder than itself or uh, lighter than itself. So um, this is known as the topic of traveling waves. We're going to be using springs. So we learned in wave theory that um, that when a wave is traveling, you have a certain wave like this. If it hits a surface that is a hard surface, it could be a wall, it could be somebody that's holding it here firmly, uh, some kind of surface that, that's harder than itself, then the, when the wave reflects, you will experience a 180 degree phase change. That's known as 180 degree. So if the trough of the wave hits it, it will come as a crest and it's gonna go back to itself. So that's one of the things we're going to show is that the shift here is 180 degree phase shift. Another kind of thing that could happen is that the wave can come and maybe it's tied like with a little ring uh, to a pole. In other words, the ring can move. It's like almost like a free end. So uh, it, could be, it could be a chair, you know? So it could be the leg of a chair, it could be some kind of a pole. And this time, if the wave comes and hits it, and if it's free to move, this time it should experience no change of phase when it reflects back. So when it's reflecting back, it's just gonna go back as it is. So no phase change. So that's the other thing we're gonna show. No, no phase shift, we can call that. And then the other thing is, how about if you have two different mediums tied together, like two different springs? You have maybe a tight spring, and then you have like a loose spring, okay? So that's what we're gonna show uh, as well. So what happens here? If the wave is starting on this end, it's going to come, hit this, at the interface between the two springs, the wave is going to do two things. Uh, one of it is going to reflect, the other one is going to transmit. So this is known as reflection. Okay. And This is known as reflection, and then this is known as transmission. And in uh, atomic theory, we learned that this is very important in quantum mechanics with electrons on an atomic level, with reflection and transmission and uh, uh, object tunneling. It's known as tunneling through a potential barrier. So this theory is used on the quantum scale as well. So when the wave reflects off of, if this is a lighter spring than that, the reflected wave experiences no change of phase. Kind of like the same idea as that the wave came and hit and the ring and it was free to move. So here the reflection has no phase change. And the transmission has no phase change as well because it's just being transmitted. So no phase change. Now one of the other things that happens too is that when it goes from a, a stronger medium to a, a lighter medium, the velocity of the wave should increase because this is a lighter medium. So all of a sudden it goes faster in that medium. But the reflected wave is the same velocity. Now the opposite happens again if the wave is in a lighter medium. and then it goes to a, a denser medium. So this time the wave is gonna come, hit the interface. Now this, since this is harder, stronger, denser, it's gonna act like almost like a wall. It's gonna reflect and it's gonna be 180 degree phase change.
uh, 180 degree phase change. The, then it's also gonna do a transmission. So it's gonna transmit, reflect, and transmit. Transmitted wave experiences no phase change. Uh, change. So when the wave comes, it simply just goes in and it just continues its flow. But the backward wave goes down, okay? And it, and it uh, experiences 180 degree phase change. So this one, no phase change. So essentially, the transmitted waves never have a phase change. The reflected wave it depends on whether the medium is uh, stronger or denser than itself. So I'm here, over here, and you can see the spring. I'm gonna make it a little tight by pulling it and I'm gonna make a wave and the wave is gonna travel down and it's being held there at a fixed end. So when the wave hits that end, it should come back with a 180 degree phase change. So watch the wave here. Okay, All right, just keep doing it. So now focus yourself on the wave when it hits off the the wall there, the fixed end. And it's pretty obvious the wave comes back with a 180 degree phase change. The velocity does not change though. Okay, now we're gonna put it at a, uh, an end that is free to move. And now I'm gonna send the wave and you could uh, now focus at the end there and you can see that the end is free to slide like this. It's uh, connected to a rod. Now I'm gonna send the wave, okay? Okay, so notice here that when the wave comes, since it's free to move, it returns back to me the same way that it was coming. If the peak of the wave was on that side, on the far side, it will return with that. If the peak of the wave was on the left side, it will return the same way. So now, watch this. I'm gonna send the wave with the peak of the wave to my right side. Okay, now I'm gonna send the wave with the peak of the wave to my left side and focus on the bounce area there from the rod. On the right side, focus on the bounce area again. Okay, so you see that that works. Okay, now we're gonna connect two waves together. Okay, now I have, I'm holding a a slinky kind of spring, which is doesn't have a very strong density, so I'm going to send the wave. Okay, I'm going to release this a little bit here. I'm going to send the wave to my right here. Okay, now focus at the interface. The wave is reflected and transmitted. Focus on the transmitted wave. It should have the same phase. It should travel slower then the incoming wave, the reflected wave should have a 180 degree phase change. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now I'm holding the denser, stronger medium. Now I'm gonna send the wave again, focus on the point uh, of interface there, both waves, the reflected and the transmitted, should not change phase. Now the other thing you, could, you should notice here is that when the wave comes from this uh, interface goes into there, it's gonna speed up like crazy. It's gonna go and return very quickly. When it returns, it's also gonna have a transmission and a reflection. So there's a bunch of stuff gonna happen. It's gonna go there, speed up, come back. It's gonna transmit to me, it's gonna reflect, so. So this principle illustrates the principle of traveling waves, reflection and interference, uh, reflection and transmission from the interface.